going to be me showing you guys how to remove your slate edges this video has been highly requested and I'm just now getting around to doing it because I've also was asked to redo the hairstyle with doing a hairstyle at the same time so I didn't want to have them all together because I didn't want the videos all to look the same like you guys were watching the same thing so today I'm going to show you guys how I remove the slate edges using the got to be glued hair gel and some of the most frequent asked questions that I've seen in the comments section thus far has been how long can you wear the sleigh edges before you have to take them out and I typically do four to five days when I'm doing this hairstyle because I change my hair too often when I'm doing updos so the longest I'm going to do an updo hairstyle for myself is like four to five days and then I just change up and do something else I'm sure you can probably get away with a few more days as long as you're using a scarf and you're tying your hair down at night before you go to bed but for the most part all I've ever done was gone four to five days and then I removed my edges the next question is, is it causing more damage to your hair using the got to be glued gel? And no, it's not causing any more damage to my hair. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done it or still be doing it if it was causing damage. If you remove, if you remove the gel with the water method, then you should have no problems with using this. This got to be glued gel is the strongest gel that I have ever used in my life so I do take extra caution when I'm removing this gel and when I'm using the gel just because it is a strong type of gel so no it's not causing any more damage to my hair thank God and my edges are actually you guys growing back and have been growing since I've done that video the last question is how do you remove the edges once you put them on so basically what I told you guys before was warm water if you put warm water on your hands that will remove the edges but just for the camera's sake I'm going to put water on my rag here I'm gonna put some warm water on it and I'm gonna show you guys how you can take your edges away without doing any damage to your hair so I got my rag nice and wet and the only thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start at the edge just like this and you can see the edges they're peeling they're peeling up and all you got to do is just pull them off and you'll see that you'll have some in your rag and you'll have a lot of gel in your rag too and that's just basically all you're doing. You just want to get it nice and wet to where you can lift it off and make sure it's nice and wet and you can see it start to peel before you start pulling it off because you don't want to pull your hair because then you'll be pulling and messing with the little bit of hair that you do have. And then once I get done with that, I just go over it again because I want to make sure that I got all of that gel out. So I just go over it again, go over my hair, making sure all that got to be glued gel is out of my hair. And if you're not going to wash your entire head, you just want to make sure that you get as much of that gel out as you can. And then I let my hair pretty much air dry and I'm on to the next hairstyle. So that is pretty much it you guys, how I remove the slate edges. No. It doesn't cause more damage by doing it that way. You can either use your hands, like I said, and put water on them and just kind of like rub the water on the edges and then pull them. Or you can use a rag and do the same exact thing. So that's pretty much it, you guys. 
not too hard at all to do so I just want to thank you guys again the video has over 700,000 views and I have learned so much in the comment section as to why people don't have edges and there's so many different reasons why people have hair loss and people in the world can be so cruel and say things not knowing what the reason is why you don't have hair and because I have learned so much through you guys this has been like the best video I have ever done since I have been on YouTube all because of you guys and so I just want to thank you guys again who tuned in and watched the video who took something from it who built their confidence up because they have a new way of giving themselves some edges and even wearing hairstyles that they thought they never would be able to wear because they don't have edges. So thanks again to you guys and thanks to all the new fam that I have gained since that video. You guys are the best and I will see you guys on another video real soon. Bye.